Let's do it. Hey, what's up, JD Aliens? I'm back, and this is another bag from Outjoy. I really like this one too. I don't know which one I would like more than the other one, the old one or this one. This one is a little bit bigger and it has a little bit more security. Now, Outjoy is all about security being that the other backpack I reviewed from them, the slimmer one, it has all the entry ports to that backpack on the inside of the bag, meaning the, the side of the bag that's going to be attached to your back. So you can't really get in it from the outside if you were a stranger digging into my stuff. But this one has a lock right here, a nice combination lock. But before we get into this combination lock, cause I don't want you in my stuff just yet. I wanna talk about the outside of this bag. Look at it, nothing. I kinda like it that way, man. It's like very inconspicuous. Like, man, is that even a bag? But it does have some nice features here. Once again, we have this nice, it's, it's a texture, it's got a texture to it, but it's this weatherproof material that's gonna stand up against water and stuff like that. So it's like splash proof. You can't be submerged in this bag or nothing. It's definitely gonna repel water. And once again, you know, I got Mr. Meat here. Mr. Meat is sharp as I don't know what. I open all my boxes with it and this thing is not cutting through this bag. So I'm glad nothing bad happened on camera there. <laughs> I hate doing tests like this on camera because you don't know where it's going. But that just assures you that this bag is going to be with, able to withstand uh, a lot of abuse from you. So let's take a look around, man. We got some cool stuff here. So on the side of the bag, you kind of have this little curve like flap here that doesn't flap out too much. But I like the way it kind of just kind of comes out around your waistline. I don't know if it's going to slim me down a lot because I've been eating a lot of tacos and drinking a lot of tequila but it kind of just hugs your body nice and snug. And this backpack does not look very big on you. It's not a huge looking bag. It's actually got a pretty slim profile, but you can actually pack quite a bit of stuff in here. But as we continue around the bag, on the back side of the bag, let's go there first. So on the back side of the bag, the part that's attached to your back, um, you do have this pass through right here. So you can pass your luggage handle through there. But I really like these right here. So uh, Outjoy is really fond of these lumbar pockets. That's what I'm calling them. I don't know if that's the real name, but we're gonna call it a lumbar pocket because it is positioned at your lumbar. So it's got this nice padding right here, but you also got a, a nice little slit right there where you can slide in your phone. This is a Galaxy Note 10 Plus, so you can gauge how big this phone is. So it'll fit like an iPhone Plus or something like that in there, or like an envelope or some documents for travel, like passports and boarding passes and stuff like that. And the rest of this is padded very well. You got some channeling for your sweat and stuff. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna do against sweat, but this is very, very thick and very, very perforated along the backside and on the shoulder straps. Since we're talking about the shoulder straps, let's just go there. So we have this whole neck integrated shoulder strap here once again with this really sturdy, durable handle attached to it. So uh, it's actually gonna conform to your body and, and just kind of hug you almost like a backpack usually feels like a backpack. These kind of just feel like a nice warm hug because of the way these shoulder straps are. And I kind of like it, but let's dig a little further into these shoulder straps. So right here on the right one, you have this nylon band right here. And it's, this is a vertical band. So you can actually clip a carabiner to it or something like that, or any, you can hook anything to this. But once again, man, I really do believe that every bag that is made for utility, like if it's a fashion bag, you know, who cares? But if it's made for any type of utility tech or anything like that, you gotta have at least a minimum of one strap where you can hook a carabiner to it or strap things to the shoulder strap. So they have one right there. And on the opposite one, they have another one, but they've also integrated a pocket, which is super fly. So you can put your keys in there. I got my keys in there right now. But if you don't want to put keys in there, you can go ahead and put some like earbuds or something in there, or maybe some chapstick or some gum, something that, you know, it's not going to take up too much space that you like to keep really handy, really quick while your backpack is on your back. So I really like this integrated pocket. And you can see there, the pads are really thick or the straps are really thick. So having something in there, let's say, let's put these earbuds in there. Having something in there is not going to affect the wear too much. It's gonna make it a little bit thicker, but I don't know, man. I really do like this pocket right here. Now let's slide this thing over just a little bit so you can see this USB charging port right here. It's in the flap. You know that flap I told you that kind of hugs your waistline? It's in there. So it does come with a cable attached to the inside, which I'll show you in a moment, but it works, man. As soon as you get your uh, power bank plugged up, you just 
plug in your wire right there and bam, your phone is charging. I know you heard that. So let's just unplug this because we're not gonna need it for right now. Let's put it down right there. But that is a great utility just in case your phone is not carrying a good charge or you just need to charge on the go because you're a road warrior. It's nice to have that USB port right there. That way you don't have to, you know, pull anything out of your bag. You can just have it right there. As a matter of fact, you can just keep this thing plugged in right there. You can roll your cable up and then you can actually just put it in his pocket. That way you don't even have to go inside of the inside compartment to get your cable out if you don't want to. So that's just clutch having that right there. Now we can go inside of this bag, but first we got to get through my combination lock. So let me just hold it up there for you right there. So right here, this is all plastic. There's no metal here, but it's still very secure. So right now it's set at the default combination triple zero, but once you get your combination that you can actually set yourself like a personal combination, once you get those numbers displayed right there, you just pull this tab back right there, snap your zippers open, and then you can get inside of your bag and show off all your goodies like I'm about to do. So let's just unzip this bad boy on both sides. And right now we have about a 45, maybe a 30 something degree opening. But what I like about Outjoy's bags is that they have this Velcro right here. So it's Velcro. You can open it up all the way, just in case you're going through the airport or something like that. You just had this thing flat out just like that. So what you can see here is how much space. So we have like a full hand and some change worth of space. And that's where that was sitting. So you do have some space in this bag even though it's a very slim uh, profile bag. This is just a, a headphone case that I have. But I wanna warn you, as you stuff in your computer, if your computer and your tablet are really thick, it does push inside of the inside of the bag. So it does right here too, in this little tablet pocket right here. So let's slide this over and go into this side right here. We have lots of ample space right here, but we do have two neoprene pockets. So this one's a little bit stretchy and it has a little lanyard right here for you to clip something. And also on the other one, we have a little keychain. So if you wanna carry your keys inside of your bag, you can, and then you can just take that out and clip it and then clip it back. And your keys are in there safe and sound on the inside of your bag where nobody can get to them. Then you have your other neoprene pocket right here, which I have my battery bank in that goes into, or yeah, on the, to the outside of the bag where that port is. So let's just take that out because we won't need it any longer. But this, these are two nice, huge pockets, man. You can stuff a lot of stuff in there. Now we get to this main compartment, which is housing uh, my notebook right here, which I love. Get yourself a notebook, man. You gotta jot down your thoughts. But let's put that right there because this will actually house, um, this will definitely house an iPad Pro or something like that. So this right here is a 10 inch Galaxy Tab S4. And it goes in just like that and it just sticks up a little bit. But man, this thing will, man, it's, I mean, we're probably talking about 13 inch laptop that could fit right here in that compartment. But that's about it for that compartment right there. And let's just slide over to the opposite side of the bag where we have a nice little pen organization. So you can have up to four pens, highlighters or markers or whatever you uh, want to put in there. But we also have what I tend to think is a pretty shallow tablet pocket. So if you have like a, I don't know, maybe an iPad mini or something in there. It's definitely gonna fit horizontally, but this Tab S4 will not fit horizontally in there, uh, especially with the case on there. Slide that in there right there, like that. And then you can slap this bungee cord around there. That way it won't fall out if your bag just so happens to just flap open and spill out everywhere. All this stuff will spill out, but these, these expensive items, they will stay intact. So let's just take this out because this will actually house any size tablet, you know, because it does stretch like that. So that's a plus. Now this is a 15 inch laptop that I have in here. Um, you can go taller, I guess you would say, as far as, or wider, I guess you would say. You can go out this way because you have a lot more room out there on that side. But this is about as big as a laptop you're gonna get in there, uh, 15 inches, and that is held in in place with the bungees as well. So those two are what I would call your expensive item compartment because they're protected, not only with just the padding right here, but also these bungee straps that I really like. Traditionally, a bag will have the flap that just kind of Velcros in one position, and then you got the two sides exposed. I like these because they capture two sides of the device and keeping it buckled in like a seatbelt. 
So as I zip this bag up and close out the video, I wanna tell you how nicely this bag fits on my body. I'm a five foot 10 man and I weigh 240 pounds. And I thought it was actually gonna look a little bit too small for me, or it might even not carry as much of my stuff as I wanted, but it carries all of my stuff. But I'm not a pack rat either. So if you're a huge pack rat and like to carry around a bunch of junk, you know, maybe this might not house all your stuff. You definitely need to check yourself on what you're carrying with this bag because, you know, the storage actually protrudes in. But this is a nice bag that fits very comfortably on the body and you protect it, man. You got a nice semi-hard shell right here on the outside that keeps it shaped. And it's always great to know that your stuff is gonna be kept safe because you got a lock on here. And I'm really digging this lumbar compartment right here. I wish all bags came with one of these as well. That's just something that I think could be incorporated in any bag that I guess they just choose not to, or maybe they don't think of it. But that's something Aljoy thought of. And I like the bag because I'm a bag whore, it's what I do. But hey man, I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but I'm really digging this bag by Outjoy. And if you enjoy checking out this bag with me, man, make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comments section, and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you one of them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want, then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button, that way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might wanna consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member, because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you, and I'll see you at the next one. Is that why you are here?